The title of this story is Thomas's Mixed Up Day. It was created by Britt Allcroft and based on a railway series by Reverend W. Audrey. Thomas is a really useful tank engine. Whenever anyone is in trouble, Thomas is there to help. One day, Thomas says, was at Ma Maithwaite Station. Sir Topham had arrived on board Percy. Thomas, I need you to collect a very important passenger. He's a firefighter and a hero. He rescued Lady Hat's cat from a tree. A hero, Thomas cried, and now we're going to give him a medal, Sir Topham Hat said. Thomas puffed away to collect the firefighter. Thomas was very excited. He was going to meet a real hero. On the way, Thomas saw lots of children at the bus stop. They were excited too. We're going to see the firefighter. Bertie the bus is taking us to the medal ceremony. Then, up ahead, Thomas saw a water tower right next to Duck start to tip over. Oh no, the water tower is going to fall on Duck, thought Thomas. I must rescue him. Thomas blew his whistle loudly. Quick, Duck, move now. Duck was surprised. He quickly puffed out of the way just as the water tower crashed to the ground. I rescued you, exclaimed Thomas. No, you didn't, puffed Duck. Rocky was putting the water tower onto my flatbed, and now it's smashed. Thomas hadn't seen Rocky. Rocky had been hidden behind the trees. I'm sorry. I don't have time to help you. I have to collect the firefighter. He's a hero. Later, Thomas saw a tree that had fallen onto the tracks. That looks dangerous, thought Thomas. I must go and tell the signal man. Thomas backed up to a signal. There's a tree on the lines. The engine must take another track. The signal man changed the points. Just then, Harvey raced toward the junction. He changed tracks and puffed down the other line. Harvey was surprised. Thomas was very pleased with himself. I rescued Harvey, Tommy. Thomas thought proudly. Now I'm a hero. Thomas chuffed on to collect the firefighter. He saw Donald and Douglas stuck behind the fallen tree. I hope Harvey gets here soon, they said. We can't go anywhere until he moved this, moves this tree. Thomas knew he'd made a mistake. Oh no, I made Harvey take the other track. I'm not a hero at all. Then Tommy saw Toby on Gordon's express line. Smoke and steam billowed from Toby's axles. Oh no, thought Thomas. Here comes Gordon. I have to re rescue Toby. Thomas shunted Toby off the express line and into a siding. Gordon chuffed past. He didn't see Toby. I rescued you, Thomas told Toby. No, you didn't, said Toby. Gordon was bringing a mechanic to fix me. Thomas knew he'd made another mistake. I'm not a hero, he said. And now the firefighter won't get to the medal ceremony on time. Thomas felt terrible. Just then, Percy puffed up. Percy, will you pick up the firefighter for me? Thomas asked. You'll have to hurry. The medal ceremony starts soon. Percy raced away. Thomas knew what he had to do. 
First, he found Gordon. Gordon collected the mechanic and took him to fix Toby. Then, Thomas found Harvey. He took Harvey to move the fallen tree. Harvey soon cleared the track. Thomas puffed sadly back to Tidmouth. He saw Bertie, the bus. The children were standing around him. What's the matter? asked Thomas. I'm stuck in the mud, huff, huffed Bertie. Now I can't take the children to the medal ceremony. Shall I take the children for you? asked Thomas. Yes, please, Bertie said gratefully. So all the children climbed on board, Annie and Clarabelle, and Thomas puffed away. Thomas arrived at the ceremony just in time. Sir Topham Hat and Lady Hat gave the firefighter his medal. The children were very happy. You are a hero, and you're our hero, Thomas. Thomas the hero beamed from buffer to buffer. Then.